Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, my name is Megan Hamilton. I am a licensed esthetician and a makeup artist, and I own Glam Beauty Bar in Vancouver, Washington. And I recently had a knee surgery on my ACL and my various meniscus, menisci, is that how you pluralize them? Um, and so um, I posted a picture, I'll put it here, um, where I was in the OR with my mom as a nurse and her best friend Bambi. And I got so much feedback about like, you look so glam in the OR. Like one of my former business partner, Leslie was like, hashtag bringing glam beauty bar to the OR. So I love that by the way. And I just thought, oh my God, like I literally spent five minutes doing that makeup look and people reacted so like it was so glamorous. And so I just thought I would show you how to get a really easy glam look in five minutes. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Thanks. Thanks. Little baby wait. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do this like a talk through just because it's not gonna be that long of a tutorial and I think it's just easier to like tell you guys what I'm doing. So first thing that I'm doing, I have nothing on my face except for skincare, so much skincare, can't get enough hydration. Make sure you do that. Um, I'm gonna put on my Born This Way concealer and I'm just gonna like take it right in the corners. So this is just for me to make me look a little bit more awake, to even out the like veins and texture on my eyelids. And I'm just gonna use my finger, you know? It's like, this is supposed to be a quick and easy look. Obviously I love makeup brushes, have a makeup brush line, strongly believe in them, but in this quick little do-do-do, no big deal. So go ahead and just buff that in. I take it down onto my cheeks like this and I'll kind of do like a tap with my finger so that everything is blended in and you don't have like a V going on where you can see exactly where the concealer's going on my lids. And if you're super, if you have super dark circles, you might want to do something that's more of like a color corrector that's a little peachier toned. But for me, I'm just taking a good old, although I still look really tired, but is what it is. Um, I'm just taking a regular, like my skin tone color one. Okay, and so the next thing we're gonna do is just set everything with a translucent. So I'm going to just take a brush and set that underneath, on top kind of go all over. There's not like a whole lot of specific going on here. Just slap it on the face. Okay. Now the big reason in my picture that I looked done up or done was eyebrows. So eyebrows are a game changer. You have to do your eyebrows. So I'm going to just comb through here. It just makes you look like you tried way harder than you did. So I'll show you one eyebrow and then we'll speed through the other one. Ooh, can't open this. Okay. So this is Glow Minerals. This is probably my favorite um, eyebrow pencil in general. Um, I like to go a little darker, so I'm just gonna start on the bottom. Let's see if I can walk and chew gum at the same time here. Um, so I'm just going on the bottom first. And this is why it's important to get your eyebrows shaped in the general way that you want them to be, but I'm still gonna fill in areas that are not perfect by mother nature. So you can see in the front, I'm going upward, up and down, just kind of mimicking like how the hair strokes would be naturally. And then I'm gonna take it a little bit higher where my arch would be there. And you can see I'm just doing like soft, swift motions. I'm not like trying to get it all perfect in one line. And I'm kind of changing the way that the brush is sitting and the way that I'm moving it through my brow hair, depending on how the brow hair grows. So you can go a lot lighter than me if you're not someone that likes, you know, crazy eyebrows like I do. Um, you can use an ashier tone, topier tone, something like that, and it'll just be really soft and subtle and fill in where you want it to. And so I always like to turn my head extra over here because a lot of people, I feel like, sort of neglect the tail of their brow and that's where you want it to be the most sharp. And then I'll take that spoolie, that little guy in front, and I'll just kind of brush it through because we want it to be a little bit more diffused and this will just show me if I have any areas that I forgot like any little patches right here or they got neglected and there's one brow and I'll go ahead and speed through the other brow. And so once I have like the general brow done, I kind of just look back and forth real quick to see where I can even them out a little because 
Brows are sisters, not twins. They're not going to be exactly perfect. I think there's something nice in being sort of perfectly imperfect, so you don't have to be so structured. They just need to look like they're related and both cute. So that's the thing that will probably take me the most time in this entire tutorial Tutorial is the eyebrows. Okay, so we're just gonna go real quick on the eyes. I have a large lid space, so if you have more hooded eyes, like, don't stress about this part. I don't even think you really need to do it. I would just go straight to mascara, but because my eyes are large and in charge, I can look real tired when I don't have makeup on. So I'm just gonna take, like, a real neutral brown and go right in the crease just to give myself some depth and some dimension so it looks like um, I'm not so horribly tired. Back and forth there. I won't even put a little, well, I'll take a little extra over here. So for me, the outer part of the eye, like the outer third, is what's most important in this process. Um, that's where I'm drawing the eye outward. And so slapping that on there, and then I'll just take a smaller brush, and I'll go a little bit darker right out in here. Not super high, not high into the crease. I just want to create a little bit of extra shadow and dimension so that it looks kind of smoky like I tried hard, but as you can see, I'm taking, what, 30 seconds to do this? This little guy right here. Okay, so then I'll go back to that original brush and I just go hard with the circles. This is where I always say blending, you can't blend too much. Like, you can be a little bit buck wild in this, and as long as you're not going too high above your crease. We're just kind of going circle crazy, back and forth, in that orbital socket. High, high. Move it, groove it. Feeling good, looking cute. Okay. Okay, so now mascara. Mascara is going to make you always look like you're a little bit more awake and trying hard. I have to be a little bit of a delicate flower at first, like when I first put on mascara. So I like to do my mascara in like three stages because this first one is just trying to get product on there and I am a sloppy lady when it comes to putting mascara on because I'm so used to having like that cat eye. It's actually easier for me to do more makeup than less makeup. So I'm just going in here and I'm just kind of gently putting it on there so that I'll be able to keep building as I go along. I'll do this, do another step, do this, do another step. Delicate flower is not what I'm known for. So, gotta just build it in steps. Fake it till you make it. I keep checking to see if it's still recording. Yes, okay. So for me, I'm super fair, as you can see right now. So I just wanna do like the lightest dusting of uh, bronzer so that I don't look like I'm dead, basically. So I'm gonna take bronzer right here, right here. I'm not doing any foundation for this look. like. Of course, if you're self-conscious about your skin or working, if you have, you know, like some acne or some redness issues, feel free to put on as much or as little as you want. This just works for me when my skin is cooperating and I can just power through real quick. So big old fat brush, number three motion, all the way through. Boom. I'll slap a little blush on top of that too, just because I'm a blush girl. I like to look girly and pretty and all those fun things. I don't know why my voice got so high there, it just felt right. Okay, and back to mascara. So build this up like as much as you want. If you like those like super light, subtle, separated lashes, you do you. For me, subtle is not my game. So this is where I'm gonna take a little time and build it up. I'll put a little on the bottom too. Okay, so now, look, really, a few minutes, and this is where I'm gonna change your life by just putting lipstick on. So look at how, like, I'm looking like a plain nice lady, like, hi, you, you look like a nice person, nothing wrong with you. Now I'm gonna look like a makeup artist that tries hard. But really doesn't. So, this is my go-to color. Jeffree Star is everything when it comes to lipstick for me. This color is called Androgyny. And it looks cute if I am fair, if I'm tan, lasts all day, I can talk 
eat, drink, everything, live my life. I'm getting her lit. It's hard to do your lips while you talk, so we're gonna have some big overdrawn lips today, apparently. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So here we go. Easy breezy, literally takes five minutes, and you take a picture and people think you tried really hard or they walk past you and they're like, oh, I like your eyebrows. Thank you so much. So thanks so much for watching. Hope that was helpful. This is bringing Glam Beauty Bar into the OR or anywhere you want to go in a hurry, but still look cute. So thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Simple and easy way to look like you tried really hard. Not really hard, but not, not hard. I really overdrew these lips today. Oh, my bad. I'm not mad at it. Look at those brows. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And see. Ooh, gotta get my leg off this chair. I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> not fun. Mike, can you help me please? Hello. Oh. Independent woman. Coming through, coming through real slow.